welcome to another video uh, this time we're gonna do the minimalist EDC so um, as a minimalist I really don't carry much uh, my everyday carries pretty much what I have on and just these simple things so for one my wallet and uh, this is technically all it is it's just a money clip holds my cards some cash really simple really easy my second item is my phone. Um, that's a essential tool for every day. One, because we actually had an occurrence a couple weeks ago where we didn't have a phone for a week. And while it was manageable, carrying this thing around and connecting to Wi-Fi, you know, messaging through there, working through email, it just wasn't sustainable in the sense that everyone out there has a phone, so you need to be readily available. And then the last piece are my keys. Now this is a two-step or a two-part uh, package. I actually have my car keys for when I'm using my car. Usually every day I get in this thing um, five, six, seven days a week, maybe uh, sometimes eight days. Uh, and then just all the other keys I need, my work keys, my house keys. Um, I keep them together on this clip, which I can easily clamp on to a bag, to my jeans, to my pants. The last part that I have is the Jeep. So the Jeep has had a few upgrades. Uh, it's a 2018 Sport. I've upgraded the hood with this matte black hood decal from Quadratech. I got a satin black uh, OEM Mopar grill. I got this Bushwhacker vent, or I guess uh, windshield. I got this EAG bumper. It's been pretty awesome. This was probably the uh, second most expensive piece out of all this. I think this was about 350. This was 300. This was $50. That was $80. I got the winch plate here in the front. Don't have a winch yet. Don't think I'm gonna get a winch. It's not an off-road vehicle so much as it goes off-road. And then if you wanna come around this way, the most expensive part has been these tires. So I actually got the Falcon Wild Peak a couple weeks ago and they have been the best upgrade so far. They're a little bit bigger than the OEM tire, which were the Dweller Bridgestone HTs. Those were awful in the rain, and they just made everything really, really squirrely. Another big important upgrade that I really like are these Quadratech mirrors that are actually for a JK, but they stay on the body of the Jeep, which is awesome, and it makes it really easy to take the doors off and not have to worry about what mirrors am I gonna have, what, what am I gonna put on, am I legal? I have one on each side. With that, I had to reinforce this area, which is plastic. Um, so I actually got a little bit of armor for here, and I got these Rampage light mounts just to reinforce the area since this is made out of plastic. And you know, there's very little bend to it. There's a little bit of give, but it's twice as thick as it used to be. The brackets hold this in place, and this keeps everything uh, tucked down. And then down here, I actually got rid of the sport badging, which was just a sticker. And I got this nice metal American flag decal. Um, another upgrade were these, I think, Rugged Ridge wind visors. These were maybe around $75. Uh, the tinted windows were about $125. And that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, pretty minimal inside, if you want to take a look. There's not much to the inside in the sense that you know, I keep it pretty clean. I don't carry anything in here. Usually I have the doors off if the weather permits. I did get the Alien sunshade, which is up here. Uh, and that's been pretty good. That really does help keep all the sun out of the way. And it keeps, it actually reduces the wind noise in here. I have these, oh, these uh, handlebars that I got on Amazon. It's just some generic brand. I got a pack of four, even though this is a two door. And I've kind of gone through the trouble of making it a little bit unique, a little bit my own. Again, with the mirrors that you're not gonna find on another JL. Um, and you know, with this bumper, which I actually, I'll put a link down to all the parts and pieces that I have to see if any of it is actually still in stock. I know the mirrors I got for a good price because they were an overstock item, but I don't know if the bumper is actually still available. So if you see, if you have a Jeep and you see anything that you like, you should just grab it while you can and don't expect it to be there forever so that is this video if you want to see any other uh videos regarding the jeep uh regarding more minimalist stuff then definitely subscribe just leave your comments down below
See you in the next one.